Yeah, I know. How long has it been? It's been ages since I made a video or posted on my website. I actually said somebody emailed me the other day asking if I was okay. Nobody I knew, just a, a bit random, but really nice, to be honest. So, where have I been? Okay. Uh, a summer on the coast down here, hitting every camping spot I could find every possible opportunity and dragging myself around in the winter before that left me with a few slight niggly problems muscle problems and stuff like that so i took a break and it's been nice um uh, started a few new projects business and personal so that's been keeping me busy but it's now like the 20th i think 20th of october and it's a beautiful day down in cornwall uh, minimal chance of rain tonight. We're about nine degrees, no wind. So I'm out. <laughs> no more. I am feeling a lot better. I needed a break. There's only so much you can do when you get to my age because I'm an old. I was going to swear then. <laughs> right, so this is the top of the gunnel. Which leads down to Crantock Bay. And that would get me. Well, this actually, this is technically part of the coast path. Um, luckily, the tide's out today, so I can walk down it. Otherwise, it'd be a long walk up the road. There's actually people canoeing down there. I've never seen that before. Excellent. It's not a bad idea, actually. So, a new tent. Got the Terra Nova Zafios 1. So I've had for a while now, but I haven't uh, tried out. It's always fun with a new tent. I'm sure I'll have one or two bits I don't know what to do with. But it's light. It's so much lighter than my Van Gogh, which uh, I do sort of miss, but not the weight. I've got about two, two hours before it starts getting uncomfortably dark, which is more than enough time to get to where I want to be. I love the canal. It's absolutely beautiful. When it floods though, all this, I can't see any of it. Even this path goes. It's absolutely impassable then. But it's quite a walk down. But it's, uh, it's worth it. It really is worth it. Oh yeah, uh, other updates. I've got all my tech back from Birmingham, so I now have all my computers, all my radio gear. So. Um, the video will be processed in the old way, which means the quality will be better, but I can't guarantee the content will be any better. <laughs> yeah, and it'll take a, like an hour instead of leaving the laptop on overnight. So yeah, it's been like been a bit of a child in a, a sweet shop with all my stuff because I missed it for so long. So and I've added a few bits and pieces to it as well. Since I've been down here. Um, oh yeah, and this. I had a vision upgrade. Check this out. Yep. I tried to get glasses that didn't make me look like a serial killer, but failed miserably. But it's unbelievable. You amazing when you get used to with your eyesight. Um, be missing out on so much. I can actually see things now instead of just playing the pattern recognition game. What's that? What does it look like? What shape is it? And uh, yeah, it's good. So that's uh, added to my enjoyment of being outside as well. They're a bugger to keep clean though. I must admit. I've had them a while and I haven't broken them yet, so I'm going some. Right, I'm dawdling. I'm gonna get a move on. Uh, yeah, that is cracking. That's quite a nice place to uh, spend the afternoon with a kayak. Yes, yeah, kayaks. Sorted. It's not far from where I live either. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the paddleboard is, uh, thing is taking shape as well. Um, more on that probably in another post. Ooh, look. Council rope swings. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I've seen council rope for ages. It's that lovely blue thin whoop, hole, thin rope, which isn't good for much. 
I'm not playing. I actually broke my wrist as a kid. Two places, I think. Because one of these swings uh, didn't perform to expectations. <laughs> Fell into a gully and uh, into a big slab of rock. That was a bad day. I don't think I'll ever forget that. It's just one of those things, no matter what else goes. That's one of the things that will always stay with me. It's something like the pain of breaking your first bone. And everything gets easier after that. <sighs> right. So I've crossed over the estuary. Uh, now I'm on to the Gunnell Estuary Walk, which will take me down to lovely Crantock Bay. Which should be beautiful this time of day. And there'll be surfers out. Ah, it's beautiful, Crantock Bay. Whew, it's nice and warm up, yeah. That's the estuary I've just walked down. I gotta go up there and then around that bit of coast. And the place I wanna go to is somewhere I slept to, slept in, slept to, what? Bad English. Slept in, at, ah, slept at when I was walking the coast path. And it's a nice little sheltered spot. The only thing it hasn't really got going for it is um, shallow soil. Uh, There's like maybe an inch or two before it hits rock. So everything, peg's gotta go in sideways. Uh, it's just somewhere you wanna put a tent up when it's not windy. Because otherwise, <laughs> it'll just do a, what I like to call a St. Agnes beacon. If you haven't watched that video, it's on the channel somewhere. Ah, oh, it's boiling. Yeah, the whole, um, the whole, what's the word I'm looking for? Give me a minute. Feel of Nuki has changed now. All the uh, young holiday makers have gone home. Not seen a stag party for about a week. And now we've got all the saga crowd down. And that'll stretch on until Christmas. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of families down as well, so it's definitely quieter. Um, in my opinion, better. Because uh, it was a bit crazy this year, especially Boardmasters weekend. You could not move. I'm glad where I live now is sort of out of the way. But if you wanted to go and do anything like buy stuff, you know, like food or anything, it was just absolutely crazy. But it's all money, it's all tourist money, that's all good. Keeps the lights on. Keeps the infrastructure going and lets me uh, live where I want to live and get to see this every day. And it's quite funny to see that up there. That's a uh, Pentire headland and I sort of live there. So 10 minutes and I'm on that overlooking Crantock. Could it get any better? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> maybe if I lived up there. But it's good enough for me. All right, I'm babbling again. I suppose you're used to that by now. Right, let's get going. Not far from uh, camp spot now. Uh, I want a good hour though to get myself settled. Put up a decent area for my radio so I can nerd out for a few hours. Beverage tonight comes. Oh, that breath. Uh, beverage, alcoholic beverage tonight comes. Um, from a woman called Kerry who's just come back from France bought me a lovely bottle of wine back I popped it about a week ago and had a glass but the rest has been waiting for a special occasion and this is it first camping trip for a while decent bottle of French wine and it is good as well yeah one thing this woman knows and that's wine it's perfect <laughs> a woman who knows wine and brings me free wine could it get any better mm. not much for the surface in Crantock today it's all really scratchy nothing worth bothering with that's why there's nobody in there there's one guy over there with a the board always the optimist one of the many people I met down here is a guy called Richard 
who is a fanatical surfer I mean finish his work he's in there he's in there all weekend I mean this guy's salt intake must be unbelievable <laughs> it's probably going to kill him in the end but I know tonight he's gone down to the Fistral which is the other side of uh, the other bay across so hopefully he's had more luck over there because it's it's pointless yeah there's not nothing worth even getting on <laughs> maybe later I mean they've got about two hours I'm running out of time as well I'm a bit further away and I'd like to be at this point in the uh, in the sunset stakes so I'm going to have to get a move on yep yeah, let's get it on got all that to walk around yet yeah. uh, it feels good be back out with the pack on um, the problem with my leg it's still hurting a bit but it's that thing if I don't you know if I don't work it then it's just going to get worse I'm just laying about all the time it's not good quite a funny conversation with one of the doctors was basically you know explained to him my lifestyle and everything and he said well you know don't you think you ought to stop <laughs> I just looked at him I thought no I said I'm not going to stop you're going to keep me going you find that quite amusing basically I damaged myself you keep me you repair me and I can do what I want to do I don't care if I have cyborg legs or whatever. You keep me going, my friend. God bless the NHS, that's all I can say. I know we knock it. We're the envy of the world. Right, babbling again. Ha! It's almost there, just around the corner now. That's the view up uh, Crantock. Over there in the distance, I don't know if you can see it on this thing, you've got Bull Point Lighthouse, which is a, a nice area to camp in if you walk in the coast. It's uh, cracking, nice and out of the way and flat and good ground. You can drive your tent pegs in proper and you can actually sleep on a flat bit of ground instead of on a slant, which if you ever walk the coast path, you will get used to sleeping on slants. <laughs> Because they're in much else. And it's a beautiful clear sky. Which means. One it's going to be a good sunset. And two the temperature is going to drop tonight. But. Uh, eight nine degrees. Uh, I've slept out in a sleeping bag. In a lot less than that. And I have a tent. Well a new tent. So that's an unknown factor. So I thought I'd just take a breather. Because that bit of section over there is. Lots of. Slippy and slidey up and down this time of year. And all the people who walk from Hollywell into Newquay should be off the coast path now, unless they're insane or they know it really well. So, unlike the summer months, I should get left alone. I mean, I went out my way in the summer months to find secluded little spots, and I still got disturbed by people thinking it was a good idea to walk 10 miles down the ghost path after one too many beers <laughs> uh, well, at least it's the summer and they could fall asleep wherever they wanted to so yeah, it's always a good thing try that in the winter and you're in trouble but I do love this view I love this I love Crantock Bay I don't know why I mean I've, out of all the bits and pieces I've seen around the coast I just think it's absolutely stunning Right, let's get it on. Get set up. And here is my home for the night. I hope it's not occupied. A few people over there wandering about. Let's have a look. Ah, someone's left rubbish down there. Ah, I hate rubbish. Pick it up, you scummy. And we'll saw then. I'll do. Cool. I can set my aerial up along here as well. I scoped it out last time. A couple of tent pegs, a bit of string. 
old school. Right. Yep, yeah, and the sun is going down. Better get moving. So there she is. Zephyros, one man. It's the same height as the Van Gogh, but it's a lot narrower. Which would do me, because I had loads of room in the Van Gogh anyway. Bought myself a new uh, shiny bedroll as well. My other one was knackered. So, let's see how long it takes me to get this bloody thing up. Okay, 10 minutes. And I have that. Grandeur is terrible, like I said earlier. And I'm not familiar with this tent. And I don't read instructions because it's just wrong. But it's doable. That's definitely not right. And the other thing I want to know is, what the hell are these? Where do these go? I have no use for them. Anyway, it's sleepable. If there was a bit of wind, it would all be over. <laughs> so slanted. I better sort that bar out in a minute. Or it will go the way of the Van Gogh. Yeah, that'll do. Ah, camp is finally made. I missed the sunset. Ah, it's a bit dicking about there. Um, I thought I bought some extra tent pegs to set my long wire up. But I didn't. Or I, ha or I can't find them. So the two mystery poles that I couldn't use on the tent are now holding my aerial up. Which is quite cute. Ah, things are the things I like about the tent. Small, light, cosy, reasonably easy to put up. Don't like the tent poles. They're uh, tent pegs. Sorry, they're just too slippy and crap. I think I'll go back to using my ones from the Van Gogh. And the ground sheet doesn't feel that good at all. It feels like there's nothing to it, you know. I'd be worried about putting that where I usually put my tents. So I might have to get something to go under that. Ah, this is my view from my bedroom. Sweet. Excellent. It's that dark now, I'll be on my own. And I'm tucked off out of the way. I can't even see it from here myself. It's only like 40 foot away. So, yeah, all set for the night. Go and uh, sort the tent out now because I've just thrown everything in there. Get it out of the way. Decent moon. No cloud cover. Should be a lovely starry night. Can you believe it's only seven o'clock? Oh, it's almost pitch already. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ah, it's so peaceful in this little ditch. Love this ditch. Oh no, sorry, music, play music. YouTube will YouTube will uh bust me again like they did last time. Alright. Yeah, let's get this tent sorted, get everything squared away. And I can relax for the night then. This is such a nice spot. Imagine this is camped to death in the summer. I've had to layer up. Uh, it's very little wind, but the temperature has dropped. This is no cloud cover. Just saw the best shooting star of my life. It was uh, sort of moving away from me, out over the uh, the sea. I had a lovely sort of greeny bluey tint to it as it burnt up I'm sure that's something to do with its composition or it's made of um, mental note I'll have to look that up when I get home so I don't do the old uh, mobile internet thing I got enough of that at home so I sorted the tent out and thought I'd uh, have a 
check out the, the sleeping position and I lost an hour. <laughs> I dozed off. It's been a busy day and a late night last night, so. Check out that sea. Oh, beautiful sound. I've missed that. Yeah, I've not seen anybody since I put the tent up. Uh, just I started throwing the tent together. There was one person who walked past, and well, there's been nobody else since. So but I'm sure there's a light source over on the other, the other side of the other bay. There's definitely something over there. I can't make out what it is, but that's like two miles away. So. If I do see anybody today, tonight it'll just be the locals. You won't be any tourists out yet. I am, what, two and a half miles outside Newquay, a few miles outside Hollywell, and Hollywell's not really a bustling place at the best of times, so. I am definitely on my own. What a great way to spend a Saturday night Solo wild camping The best I've uh, uncorked what's left of the wine I'm working my way through that rather nice actually it's uh, a bit of a bite to it but it's good it's a nice bit of red wine thank you Kerry and the good thing is she, she now owns a, a house in France and she's back and forth quite often so ha <laughs> plenty of free wine for me Yeah, tent's really cool. It's going to take me a while to get used to it. It's a little bit odd. There's bits and pieces I haven't quite worked out what to do with yet. But I like it. It's okay. It's nice. It's a nice little tent. I'm not sure how this, this thing is going to take wind, though. It's got a pretty low profile. I think I'll probably add some extra guy wires to it. And actually learn to put it up properly first might help. It's a little bit saggy. But it'll do, I mean. I'm sheltered, yeah. For what wind there is, there's nothing down here. It's beautiful. Right. I came out here to play radio and chill out and that's what I'm going to do hopefully you'll get a better, a better look at this campsite tomorrow I'm not even sure what time does it get light in the morning about 7? something like that yeah, well, nice lying for me then hopefully be a change it's uh, a past 8 on a Sunday morning and this is what I woke up to bit of sea mist coming in over there all in all a pretty cold mon uh, Sunday morning <laughs> slept alright went to bed about 2 had a few hours sleep took a while to get used to the, the space in the tent and to get everything organised basically but yeah it's, it's ok it's uh sort of missing the extra room in the Van Gogh but I managed to get pile everything in, into my rucksack and sleep on that as a pillow which I usually do yeah it's alright the smaller tent gets much warmer as well I think oh. and I can actually see things properly with these glasses now I had to clean them this morning they were probably smudged up Yes. 
bad at all. Luckily, I'm close to home as well, so hour or so, maybe hour and a quarter tab in. I'll be home. But I'm not ready to go yet. I'm going to chill out for a while, do some more radio stuff. The aerial's uh, still up. Managed to stay up last night. Oh, lost a couple of tent poles. It's because they. There's very little to put them in here. Yeah, I lost one there. All the others. Oh, <laughs> that one's out. It's all good. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be one of my favourite winter camping spots. Be interesting to see how the how this tent reacts when the wind's piling in here as well and the rain. See, I'm not too sure about camping in the rain here because it's a dip and there's no soil. So I have a feeling this will get waterlogged pretty quickly. Yeah, well, give it a go. There's plenty of other places around here if I have to move. Ah, it's now 10 o'clock. Unfortunately, I've got to wrap up. Because Sunday is the one day I get stuff done that keeps the rest of my week flowing. <laughs> so, uh, packed up, aerial down, been over the site. Nice and clean. My bag of rubbish, which will get tied to my backpack. I've even picked up the rubbish that the last scumbags left you. It's all nice and tidy, ready for the next person to enjoy. Hopefully, and not crap all over. Ah, oh, to put the tent away wet. There's a lot of condensation on it, but I'll hang it out when I get home. A couple of hours, it should be dry. I can put it away properly then. I'm quite pleased with it. It's okay. Uh, the size is a little bit weird because I spent so long with the Van Gogh, but yeah, I like it. I like the one pole thing instead of the two pole Van Gogh, which is the Van Gogh was always such a pain in the ass to put up. If you didn't get the tension right one way or the other way, then it just didn't didn't look right. I mean, this one, so much easier to put up and to put away. I think uh, we could have a long friendship as long as I don't take it up St. Agnes Beacon in the storm. <laughs> and maybe at the end of its life. Right. I'm off. At least I don't have to go hunting for a coffee. I know exactly where it is at home. I'll be there in about an hour. <laughs>